this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I did something today that I haven't done in, I don't know, two, maybe three years. I went to see a movie. Um, and I don't usually go to movies because I... Partially because I don't care about most movies these days because they're just not making good stories. And partially because uh, I think that I have th better things to do with my time. And also partially because I'm tired of Hollywood shoving their woke satanic values down my throat. I don't need a gay character in every movie. I don't need to be told that I'm an evil person because God made me white or that God made me a man. And so I stopped going to movies because I was just tired of it. But I went to a movie today because I felt like it was a movie that should be supported and I had heard really good things about it and so I wanted to I wanted to see if it was good, as good as everybody was saying and support that movie. And I'm going to recommend that you go see that movie and support it too. The movie that I went to see is called Sound of Freedom. And it stars Jim Caviezel, uh, the guy that played Jesus in The Passion of the Christ. And... It was a fabulous movie. It was very well done. It, fair warning, it is not an easy movie to watch. Um, and I had been told that it was not an easy movie to watch. It wasn't as hard to watch as I thought it might be, but it was still pretty hard to watch. No matter how macho a guy you are, if you can come out of there with, without tearing up at least a little bit, I got a question if there's something wrong with you, if you're really not as compassionate and concerned about children as you can be. And the movie is, and I have to be careful about how I say this because YouTube will censor when you talk about certain things. It is about it's about child trafficking, children being sold for the most disgusting, heinous, and perverted uses that human beings have come up with. movie is excellent. It is very well done. It calls to light something that is a big problem in this world and the media not only chooses not to address this, and our government really isn't doing much to address this, at least as much as they should, but... There have been several media outlets that came out and said that this movie is basically QAnon propaganda. And it's not. That particular group is not mentioned. Those websites are not mentioned. It is not about that. And I'll let you draw your own con conclusions. But why would the, the media try to discredit a movie that raises awareness about
this subject. Again, I'm trying to be very careful about what I say. Beyond that, this movie was finished five years ago. And Disney owned the rights to it. And they refused to release it, and it's a great movie, and it is way exceeding the box office expectations. It's making far more money. It made enough money in just over the first day that it was out to cover the cost of making the movie. Um, it came out on July 4th, and on that day, it beat the new Indiana Jones movie. Why would Disney refuse to release this movie. <clears throat> and the only reason that, that it yeah, was released <clears throat> was because Angel Studios bought the rights to it, bought the movie, and released it. Why would Disney not want this movie out? Particularly if it made money. Why are media companies and websites trying to smear this movie and stop people from going to see it. I'm not going to draw any conclusions. I will let you draw your own conclusions, but I will say this. In a world that is this evil, fighting against a movie like this makes you evil. I would recommend going and seeing this movie. Highly recommended. Not only because you need to see it, you need to help raise awareness of this issue, but also to support this movie. To send a message to Hollywood that we're tired of the garbage and we like something with values. There are two lines in the movie that really can be taken as Christian or faith-based lines, but nothing blatant, and it's really not a faith-based movie. It's not blatantly Christian, although the media is talking about it as a faith-based film, it's not. Um... And I guess that's all I gotta say, but just, yeah, go see it. If you can afford to go see it. If not, go to angelstudios.com slash freedom, I think it is. And they'll actually give you tickets to see it for free that other people have paid for. There's a, at the end of the movie, there's a QR code that they put up on the screen where you can go to that website and pay for other people to see this movie. It's kind of an unusual deal. I've never seen a movie that did that, but it's well worth seeing. Um, check it out. If you do go see it based on my recommendation, or even just from you already went to see it, or somebody else recommended it, um, leave me a comment on this video. Let me know what you thought of the movie, what your reaction was to it. Am I right? You can even tell me what you think of as to why the media is against it and why Disney did not want to release it. Um, and keep in mind, for the majority of its existence, Disney has claimed to be a family and child-friendly entertainment company. So, for whatever that's worth, just think about go seeing it.